Okay, today I'm going to be seeing what happens when I shine a 32,000 lumen flashlight on black water. Will it melt the bottle? Will it boil the water? Let's see what happens. And I'll also be talking about if black water is even black. I showed in a previous video that I was actually able to make black water by using something called humic acid. And humic acid is really black. You can see that when I mix just a teaspoon of it with normal water, here's what happens to the water. So the water becomes extremely black with just a little bit of humic acid added to it. And in that video, I got a lot of suggestions to see what would happen if I actually shined a really bright light on the black water. Would I be able to boil the black water due to the absorption of light? So first I'm just gonna try it with the black water from the bottle and see what it looks like. And then I'm gonna add a bunch more humic acid to get it as black as I can possibly get it. And then shine the light on it and see if I can actually boil the water with the light. Okay, so this is 500 lumens in my backyard. Let's see what 32,000 lumens look like. Three, two, one. <laughs> this is a flashlight. It's like a spotlight. So crazy. So lighting is hard with the camera because the camera auto corrects for the lighting and so it's hard to tell when something gets brighter. It's literally like I'm holding a spotlight in my hand. So cool. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Okay, black water versus a 32,000 lumen flashlight. Three, two, one. Here we go. So it's interesting shining this on it. You can see that it kind of isn't black when I'm shining the light on it. It's kind of washed out on the camera, but you can see that it's kind of brown more like when I shine the light through it. So the flashlight's getting really hot in my hand, but the water, not so much. I mean, I can feel the heat on my hand here, but the water still feels pretty cool. Okay, so I didn't get much heat from that, partially because there's a lot of water here compared to the amount of light I'm giving it and also because this isn't as black as it can get. So let's try to get this water as black as we can get it and give it a little less volume and see if we can actually boil some water with the flashlight. Okay, so let's just give ourselves about 50 milliliters of the black water. So you can see when I pour it that it's more brown looking. But we're gonna fix that right now. So I'm gonna add so I'm gonna add the main ingredient, what actually makes black water black, and that's humic acid. It's kind of the final breakdown product of plants. All right, so I've got my fully black water now. You can see that it's less brown, a lot more black, and I'm gonna set it directly on the flashlight so most of the light's gonna go right through the water and get absorbed by the black water in there. And I'll measure the temperature of it and we can see how much the temperature changes throughout. Okay, it's at 80 degrees right now. Let's turn on 32,000 lumens. Three, two, one. Whoa. So it still looks pretty black in there. Let's see if I can look down into it. Looks like it's absorbing almost all the light when I look down into it. But you can see the temperature going up now. Whoa, it's going up pretty fast. 84 degrees now. Eighty-five degrees. So the reason the temperature is going up because those black particles in there are absorbing the light and that's changing the temperature of the water. Yeah, so this water is definitely warm now. It's at 94 degrees Fahrenheit. So these flashlights have a timeout mechanism because it starts to heat up the battery too much to let out these 32,000 lumens of light. It's a lot of energy, so it heats up the internals and it heats up the battery. So it's gonna time out in a bit. 
So even with just 50 mils of water, it's a little too much. So let's see what happens when we do even less water. Okay, we got to 108 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is definitely hot now. So let's see what happens if we use even less water and see if we can actually boil the water away or evaporate it away. Okay, let's pour some black water on this. Now let's shine our 32,000 lumens on it. Three, two, one. So you can see the smoke rising from it. See if this is warm. Ow! Yes, that's hot. <laughs> Ow! So the flashlight's getting really hot to hold now. I can barely even hold it. Ow! It's melting the plastic around it. Okay, that was really hot. So I'm measuring here that we get around 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And I think what's happening here is it's heating it up and it's evaporating so fast that the heat isn't enough to keep, keep heating it up enough to boil it. Because it's not really getting, I left it on there a long time and it's not really getting past that 140 degree Fahrenheit mark. But it does start to dry out the water so it's just left with this humic acid only. And the other question we wanted to answer, why is it that when you have just a little bit of this black water or some other dark drink like Coke or Dr. Pepper, why is it that when you have a thin layer or pour it out, it actually looks brown and not black anymore? Well, that's because black is not actually a color. There is no color such as black. Black just means that there's less of some type of color of light coming to your eyes than what's around it. But because there's a little bit of brown showing, that means that this pigment is actually absorbing a little bit more blue light than the other colors. And so because it absorbs blue light, it actually appears orange when you put enough light through it. And that actually goes for any color. For example, if I have some colored lights here and I put a shadow in these lights, the shadow looks black even though it's different colors of light. So no matter what color of light I'm showing here, the shadow always looks black even though it's actually just a darker shade of that color. And any artist can tell you this, that there's no true black. Black is actually just some darker combination of some other color. So it's just absorbing light of some other color. But if you were able to lighten that color enough, you would see that it has some shade or tint of a different color to it. So that means that black can be different colors. There can be different colors of black. There can be red black, there can be blue black, green black, yellow black, and there can also be white black meaning that if you were to lighten that black color up, if you were to get more and more light to reflect off of it, it would appear more and more like that color. So black is not a color, it's just a darker shade of any other color in the rainbow. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest videos out and head over to theactionlab.com if you haven't yet to check out the Action Lab subscription box where you can do experiments similar to the ones that you see me do on my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.